Hello, welcome to biology, the scientific study of life. Epithelial tissue. Um, this tight backing enables the epithelium to function as a barrier against mechanical injury, microbes, and fluid loss. Some epithelia called uh, glandular, uh, glandular epithelia absorb or secret chemical solutions. For example, the glandular Epithelia that line the lumen cavity of the uh, digestive and respiratory tracts form a mucous membrane. They secret mucus that lubricates uh, the surface and keeps uh, it moist. The criteria for classifying epithelia are the number of cell layers and the shape of the cells in the exposed surface. A simple epithelium has a single layer of cells, whereas a, um, a stratified epithelium has a multiple uh, tiers of cells. Um, uh, a pseudo stratified, uh, stratified uh, epithelium is a single layer, but appears at the exposed surface, maybe uh, copiable uh, like dyes, uh, clominar like bricks standing on end. Uh, or uh, squamous uh, like of lower tiles. Connective tissues. Connective tissues functions mainly on by to bind and support other tissues. In contrast to epithelia, with their tightly backed uh, cells, uh, connective tissues have a sparse population of cells scattered through an extracellular matrix. The matrix generally consists of a web. Uh, a web of fibers embedded uh, in a uniform fund, uh, foundation that may be liquid, uh, jelly like, or solid. In most cases, the substances that make up uh, the matrix are secreted by the cells um, of the connective tissues. Uh, connective tissue fibers, which are made of a protein, are of three kinds color, um, collagenous. Um, uh, fibers, elastic fibers, and uh, reticular fibers. Collagenous fibers are made of collagen, probably the most abundant protein in the animal kingdom. Collagenous fibers uh, are non-elastic and do not tear uh, easily when folded lengthwise. If you bench uh, and with some skin in the back of your hand, it is mainly collagen that keeps the flesh form or from tearing away from the bone. Elastic fibers are long threads, uh, threads made uh, of a protein called elastin. Elastic fibers uh, provide a rubbery quality that complements uh, uh, the non-elastic strength of collagen fibers. When you release the skin on the back of your hand, elastic fibers quickly restore the skin to its original shape. Reticular fibers are very thin and branched, composite of collagen and continuous with collagen fibers. They form a tightly woven fabric that joins connective tissue to adjacent uh, tissues. The major types of connective tissue in vertebrate are loose connective tissue, adipose tissue fibers, connective tissue, uh, cartilage, bone, and blood. Among the cells uh, scattered in loose connective tissue, two types, uh, predominant fibroblasts and macrophages fibroblasts, secrete the protein ingredients of the extracellular fibers. Macrophages are uh, amoeba, amoeba, uh, amoeboids, uh, cells that whom the mias of fibers engulfing for foreign particles and the display of dead cells by phagocytosis. Uh, we will um, learn more about the specific functions of those cells and various connective tissues. Muscle tissues is composite of lung cells uh, called muscle fibers that are capable of contracting usually when stimulated by nerve signals arranged in parallel Within the cytoplasm of muscle fibers, fibers are large numbers of contracting units called um, myofibrils. Um, um, made of uh, proteins, actin, and myosin. Uh, also, um, Muscle is the most abundant tissue in most animals, and muscle uh, contraction accounts 
for much of the energy consuming cellular work in an active animal in the vertebrate body there are three types of muscle tissue skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and smooth muscle nervous or nervous tissue nervous tissue sends stimuli and transmits uh, signals in the form of nerve uh, impulses uh, from one part of the animal to another the functional unit of the nervous tissue is the neuron or nerve cell which is uniquely uh, uniquely specialized to transmit nerve impulses uh, in many animals um, nervous tissue is concentra concentrated in the brain which functions as the control center that coordinates many uh, of the animal's activities Uh, structure and function in animals uh, organs and organ system in all but the simplest animals sponges and some uh, cnidarians different tissues are organized into organs in some organs the tissues are arranged in layers for example Vertebrate stomach has four major tissues layers. Uh, first one is uh, mio, mucosa. The second layer is uh, as shown this figure, submucosa. The third one, or third or fourth, third one is uh, musculus or musco, uh, lars musculars. And fourth one is a uh, cirrhosa. Cirrhosa. Okay. Um, mucosa. The mucosa is an epithelial layer that lines the lumen. Submucosa. The submucosa is a matrix connective tissue that contains blood vessels and nervous. Muscularis. Uh, the muscularis consists mainly of smooth muscle tissues. Cirrhosa external to muscularis is uh, the cirrhosa. A thin layer is connective tissue. This is the uh, fourth one. External to the um, muscularis uh, is the cirrhosa, a, th a thin layer of connective and epithelial tissues. Notice mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and cirrhosa. Um, a thick epithelium lines the lumen and secrets uh, mucus and digestive juices into it. Outside this layer is a zone of connective tissue surrounded by a thick layer of smooth muscle. Yet another layer of connective tissue encases the entire stomach. Many of organs of vertebrates are suspended by sheets of connective tissue called mesentera. Uh, Mesenteres or mesenteres in a moist or fluid filled body cavities. Mammals have a thoracic cavity housing the lungs and heart that is separated from the lower abdominal cavity by a sheet of muscle called the uh, diaphragm, or diaphragm uh, representing a level of organization higher than organs organ systems carry out the major body uh, functions the most animals each organ system consists of several organs and has specific functions but the efforts of all systems must be coordinated for the animal to survive for instance nutrients absorbed from the digestive tract and uh, distributed through the body by the circulatory system but the heart which bumps uh, blood through the circulatory system depends on nutrients absorbed by the digestive tract as well as on oxygen obtained by the respiratory system and organisms with a signal cell or an assembly of organ system is a ordinated living whole greater than the sum of its parts.